packets, chocolate wrappers, inspiration, we all eat them and we eat loads of them as a family, but when you look up close at them, it's not just a colour palette, they are quite dual looking, shiny surfaces. So there is something interesting that we could do with these as a piece of artwork. So we're upcycling them again until they're just putting them in the recycle bin. In our garden, we always seem to have a variety of pots in all shapes and all colours. Some pots have interesting textures on them, while others are just used to make a statement with plants rather than the pots themselves. This has given me an idea going back to our sweet wrappers and our crisp packets. We could do something a little bit different today. So whilst having a look around the garden I came across an old pot. It's a plastic pot but it used to house a plant of some sort. It's just been discarded. We could do something interesting with this. So I've decided to combine the flower pot and the crisp packets in a different way today and my inspiration came when I saw this jewel bug. It's called a jewel bug because of its brilliant colours and their metallic colours as well. And these kind of jewel beetles live in forests and woodlands and are mostly found in Sydney and they're usually all around the flowers just hopping from one to another. So this is our colour palette to make our jewel bug. But we're not going to do it in the ordinary way I have been doing collage art lately. We're going to do something a little bit different. This is going to take some time but it's going to be well worth it when we're finished. We're actually going to be doing mosaic work. So you're going to cut your packets into strips and cut little squares this is going to be a lengthy process but continue until you've got all the colours that you need. I finished cutting up the wrappers into small squares ready for this piece of artwork. So this is my colour palette and it's a simple one. I've got yellows, oranges, a few reds, blues and greens. So I've drawn out a simple outline of the bug. So I'm going to begin with the yellow sections. I'm using PVA glue and I'm just brushing it into place. Then simply use, pick up your little mosaic tiles and start to put in the colours. You can go over some of your existing drawing you put in because we can overlay afterwards but you can just about make out the lines underneath so we can follow them. So basically that is all you're doing. Is looking to see where the colours are and add in your mosaic tiles.
So continue this process all over. So it should begin looking a bit like this. This is what I call the undercoats of mosaics. We have got now all the definition of this pattern on the top and I've already started cutting some of the pieces in half again. But to create this effect we need smaller squares. Like so. Now you can either just place them down to create one little piece or you can be really clever and arrange them around to make a circle. Like that. Take particular details of the blue around here, there's the blue there, and start overlapping. It should start to begin to look like this. Now we're going to move on to the face. So the same technique applies. Just apply glue and just look at the colours and use what you've got. For his eyes now I've got some red. And it's as simple as that. We need some more yellow. We need some more green. So you're just looking at what's there and just cutting the pieces accordingly. So keep going until the whole head is complete. To create the legs if you look closely there are red, blues, darker blues. So apply the same technique. When you get the colour you need, just start to chop them up. And then apply them to your legs. like so. Repeat this process on the other three legs. For the antennae I've just cut some really narrow strips. Now your finished art piece should look a little bit like this. It might look different depending on what you're making. You could be making flowers, you could be making bugs, you can make whatever you like. This is just a technique to show you. Leave it dry now, ready for phase two. Once he's dried, carefully cut him out and apply PVA glue all to the back of him. Remember the flower pot I got earlier from the garden? I've given it a wash down now and I've simply glued the back of my piece of artwork and I'm going to PVA stick it down onto my pot. This can be quite tricky because obviously if it's not completely dried yet some of the pieces might come off.
once it is completely dry you need to get your PVA glue again and gently just paint it don't go too much over the black pot but you can do a defined line because the glue will dry transparent and you will see a transparent line So repeat this process all over. So here we have it, your finished piece. From plastic crisp packets and chocolate wrappers to a piece of art in the garden. And now you can plant something nice in it.